Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Palomino SS1251. Before we get started, we do have this in the cool gray exterior fiberglass color. This truck camper is compatible with a half ton, three quarter ton, or one ton truck with a six and a half foot bed. As we get started, you'll notice it has the friction hinge door. You simply open it up and leave it open right where it is. The integrated blind in the rear window here, so if it's nighttime, you can close that. Oversized grab handle to help you in and out of the camper. Porch light with an on and off switch right underneath here. Right up above that, we have the black box here. It is pre-wired for an observation camera. So you can add that any point in time. And the camera would allow you to see behind you the entire time while you're traveling down the road. We have the manual stabilizer jacks on here currently. Those can be upgraded to the electric stabilizer jacks. But currently it comes with the handle for the uh, manual crank. Also, this adapter, so you could hook this into your cordless screw gun and go around, around and run each jack um, individually with that as well. If you upgrade to electric, you simply take the head of this off, replace it with the electric one, and it'll plug in right here. So it is already pre-wired for it. As we move around to the side, um, right down here, we're gonna have a little bit of storage that's already built into the camper. Nice magnetic latch there for that slam latch door. We have your refrigerator vent right here. On each corner, you're gonna see the little tie down bracket that is for the roof system. When that closes up, you'll have four latches there. Furnace, on-demand water heater, which means it's gas only, 60% more uh, efficient than our gas electric that we used to use. Hot and cold outside shower. Your water source right here is for your fresh water connection. So if you're dry camping or boondocking, you would fill up your fresh water tank, turn on your water pump, use that water. We have your 110 outlets outside here. It is a 30 amp unit. It will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. Your sink water on the inside actually runs right out the side here. You can hook up a hose to this and catch the runoff in a tote down below. City water connection. So if you're at a campground or at your house, you simply hook the water hose up right here. That will pressurize the lines for you and give you water. Right up front here, the camper itself comes with a uh, seven-way cord. It's a double-sided seven-way male. So the camper, it plugs right in. This cord will run to the back of your truck and plug right into the seven-way uh, port on your truck as well. That'll charge the batteries while you're traveling. If you're gonna be stopping overnight or for a few days, we recommend to unhook this. You can hang it right here. That way, if the batteries die on the camper, it will not drain your truck batteries. We have a 12 volt cutoff switch that will kill all 12 volt power to the batteries. So if you're putting in storage or gonna be gone for a couple weeks, you can uh, shut that off. Right here is another direct line to the battery. So you can put a battery charger or a portable solar panel up there to keep the batteries charged up. As we move around to the front, you'll notice it's all blacked out here. Really sleek look. The Palomino decal right up front. We have the canvas all the way around. You'll notice it's got the screen on the inside so you can have it open for ventilation. A lot of airflow in here. We have your emergency exit window right here. You can see we have that propped open at the moment. Right over here is gonna be your propane tank. And that is a 20 pound and that will be filled by the Outpost RV. And last but not least, we have your dump station right down here in the bottom corner. And that concludes our outside walkthrough of the Palomino SS1251. Now we'll head to the inside. Before we move to the inside walkthrough, I wanna show you a little trick with the roof system. Right here is the remote that will run the roof up and down. So this top left corner right here is actually gonna run the roof. You can see it's red. If you hold that down uh, for about 10 seconds, it should turn green. So if you ever upgrade to electric jacks, you would then use this remote to run the jacks individually or all at the same time. Uh, this right here is gonna give power to the remote. So you can turn that on or off and that will give power to the remote. What we've done is we've lowered the roof a little bit here to show you for demonstration. We've turned the power vent fan on high above the bed. I'm gonna close this entrance door and I want you to take a look at the vacuum that it creates. So when you close the, the camper up, you can do this trick and it'll help pull the canvas in. As we move to the inside, the 1251 is gonna offer a toilet and shower on the inside. And that is gonna be right inside the entrance door here on the right hand side. But as you can see, there's some nice storage drawers and your three-way refrigerator with a freezer up top right inside the entrance door here. This camper has a really nice open feeling to it. Lots of good space and storage here. 
We'll just go ahead and get started right up top with the bedroom area. On the far left hand side, at the bottom corner, we have a 110 outlet. On the opposite side, you're going to have a 12 volt charge port and then your thermostat for the furnace. This has a queen size bed in it. It is 60 by 80. We have some storage area right here at the foot of the bed. Both sides will open. Get some nice storage in there. You do have the foot locker storage on either side of the bed that will open up as well. Again, the screens all the way around. It does have the darkening shade. You can also lift that up and see just the screen. And then you can unzip that and get uh, ventilation all the way around with just the screen itself instead of having the clear over it. We have the Max Air vent fan right above the bed here. That is very powerful. We'll move a lot of air throughout here. We do have the overhead storage cabinets. As you can see, those are removable. So you can take those off, take them in the house, load them up and bring them back out. In the dinette area, lots of seating. This will turn into another sleeping area for you as well. Underneath the carpeted step, that will lift up and you can put the table leg underneath there if that needs to get out of the way for you. Right underneath here, the bottom left-hand corner, we have your breakers and fuses, your carbon monoxide detector, 110 outlet, and then your switch for the water pump. We do have a window that you would be able to see from the outside right underneath there that would match up with the cab of your truck if you have a window in the truck as well. In the kitchen area, we have this nice sink area. It does have this cover for extra prep space or drying dishes as well. We have the kitchen window here, another 110 outlet. Up top, we're gonna have more storage. You can see we have the one on the right here. Over to the left has a shelf in it as well. Lots of counter space up top there. Another look at that refrigerator with the storage cabinets. We do have a two burner stove. It has the glass cover on it. So if you're not cooking, it has extra prep space, but it is a two burner stove there. We have your furnace down below, as well as the controls for your on-demand water heater. That will allow you to adjust the temperature and turn it on and off from the inside. In the very back here, you'll notice that we have the screen opened up for you. It'll give you an idea of how that looks if you have just the uh, darkener rolled up. You can also unzip the clear and have just the screen there. You could do that all the way around, really let a lot of airflow throughout the camper. Above the bathroom, we have a skylight with the curtains that will pull around for privacy here. Lots of counter space on the inside. And this is a magnetic door they have here. So I'm gonna pop this open. As we take a look on the inside, there is a shelf that they've added. The toilet area. And you'll notice that uh, there is a storage area here as well. And I'm gonna open this up for you so you can take a look inside. Lots of storage in here. So you can really put a lot of stuff in there. Your toiletries you can put in there and keep that dry as well, because this doubles as a shower. You have your shower head there with your water source. That will conclude the walkthrough of our Palomino SS1251. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.